never know how many lizards I've killed You'll never know how many pets I've had Annie Do you want to take a drug walk? Mexicans at Taco Bell Cheetah Esther you whisper in my ear Say the words I long to hear I go both ways Ooh One take <laughs> Welcome back to 10 Minutes of Shab. As always, join the Patreon. We have reviewed Ari Shafir, Brian Callen, and uh, Andrew Schultz. And this week, we're going to watch Nick Cannon's special. I forget what it's named, but uh, we'll... It's highly recommended. Highly... Re- Is that the name of it? No. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, so if you want to put a little something on the end... Yeah. Do you know what that is? What? Drumline. <laughs> Drumline the movie. We're going to watch that. Also, everything's on Spotify. Shout out to uh, Brendan Walsh of the oh World Record God, Podcast dude. for the merch. I don't know if you're on our Discord. I posted a picture of all the, the merch that Brendan bought us, shirts, hats, bas- a basketball jersey. Yeah. If we get up to um, 3,000 uh, uh, Patreon subscribers, then uh, I will wear the basketball jersey. <laughs> uh, you're going to wear it eventually. Yeah, no, I'm going to wear it anyways. But uh, you got some shows? No, no, no. Okay, well, I, I did the show at the Ice House. Thank you to everyone that came that out. How did that go? It was awesome. It was amazing. It was the best show of all time. There we go. So, well, that's not why you're here, though, right? Yeah, no, 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 you're definitely. here to watch 10 Minutes of Shop. So, play the chin clip. Start the timer now. All righty. So, this first clip is posted by Jimmy D 787 It's called, Dude, Every Knee. And I think <laughs> we know what that's in reference to. Let's see here. <laughs> Dude, everything they eat, bean cheese, bean cheese, bean cheese, bean cheese. Bean cheese. <laughs> I was so redacted. I didn't even know that's what I thought it was going to be. Every night we fuck each other. Oh, no, oh, dude. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I love the resurgence of bean cheese. I've been saying it way too many times, dude. Yeah, that's like your dude, favorite job. Dude, everything they eat, bean cheese, bean cheese, bean cheese, bean cheese. Bean cheese. Like, I mean, look at him, dude. That is now like the more you watch it, the funnier it gets to Dude, me. everything they eat, bean cheese, bean cheese, bean cheese, bean cheese. Yeah. Like, do you think <laughs> the, the stepmom does that? Does she like... <laughs> Is that how you make beans and cheese? <laughs> no, but no. it's a great act out. Yeah. Honestly, that's, you know what I mean? It should just be like, it should be the Mexican cookie bit, beans, cheese, and the special. What flair did he pick for this? Was it highly redacted? Oh, let me see. Let me see the flair. Oh, I am yeah, of course. 1.7. Because it's Gringo Poppy. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Anyways, that was a nice little, uh, we have a couple of Gringo Poppy clips to start this episode nice. with. I try to like segment the clips again because there's so many this week. Um, this one is, <laughs> oh yeah, this is really, this good. is, we already watched this one cause I couldn't believe it. It says uh hot Mike reveals the real reason for Mitch McConnell's episode posted by Toto R- Rikitti. Oh, Toto, uh, Roki. So however you say it, you, amazing dude. This is an amazing, this clip. is the kind of clip where you want the chef to come to the table and talk. Like, <laughs> yeah. Thank him. Personally. Kiss him on the cheek or something. <laughs> After finishing the NDA, uh, this week has been good bipartisan cooperation <laughs> and a string of uh, uh, <laughs> 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 Say, sure, let's go back to your house. Mm-hmm. Do you want to say anything else to the press? Sweaty hitties. Okay. What is at the end? Sweaty hitties. What is that from? I think that's Schultz. Oh, I don't okay. know. I, yeah, I'm not redacted enough to get that one, but uh, that was amazing. Very good. Yes. Very good. Compliments uh, to the chef. All right. So this one's called uh, Interesting to See a Convo about Gringo Poppy prior to it being recorded. Posted by All I Do is Lie to You, one of the best chefs we got in the kitchen, dude. Uh, let's see here. Chris, hey, if you're looking to get up this at, Thursday, Friday, the Ha Ha in LA. Run my 30 minute before I shoot my special next or 11th through the 13th in Dallas. Yeah, or come Did down to Brand. there in Dallas. Yep. So you're shooting it in Dallas where? 
uh, Addison Improv. <laughs> Wait, is that where? Is that where <laughs> that was filmed? Is it? The, the, oh, really? But the backdrop, it won't look oh, like gotcha. that. Oh, gotcha. We're building they, a whole set. Uh, I was fascinated by the entire <laughs> 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 I even know where the construction paper came from. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I even know who cut it out. <laughs> are they okay? So, so are they? Because uh, what is it? A, a, a half hour special? Thirty are you doing? And like, okay, I don't know what Comedy Central does now. I've, I haven't worked. They with don't even understand what he's doing when they're talking yeah. about what. What are you doing again? It's simple. It's an out, it's a special, right? Yeah. A comedy special, but it's so redacted that his friends are like, and it, and it's gonna you're gonna do another one. <laughs> it's gonna be how long? Also, too, I love how the universe just does not understand Gringo Poppy. He has this moment with uh, Logan Paul and his friend where he's like, YouTube, what? And then right now he's saying like, wait, so Comedy Central, I know they do 30 minutes. Like, oh, it's not Comedy Central. You're right. Well, everyone is sort of hinting at it being a bad idea. (laughs) Before it even comes out. Before it comes out. They're kind of, they're not, they're too nice to just tell him straight up, hey, man, don't do this. (laughs) But they, like he's hinting at it. Logan Paul's like YouTube. Like they just it doesn't make sense <laughs> to them because it doesn't make sense at all. Yeah. Central. You didn't? It might be. Oh, got it. Okay. <laughs> well, I told you when I when literally met with Netflix, and I'm like, yeah, no matter who it is, Chappelle, Rogan, uh, Burr, everybody stops at 28 minutes. I go, yeah. it's so weird. Why would I give you guys an hour? Yeah. If we know, especially my demo, 1836, I'm like, mm-hmm. why would we put an hour if people are just going to watch 28 to 30 minutes because it's the best special of all time. We need to see an hour. Yeah, we need it an hour. Bapa. We need to imagine an hour. (sighs) You know, like jackass, they do jackass one, two, three, and then they have 1.5, 2.5, stuff like that. We need gringo poppy 1.5, dude. You know how, (laughs) you know, if people say about Oppenheimer, they're like, you ask him if it's good and they go, oh yeah, so good, but it's three hours long. Could you imagine if people said that about Gringo Poppy? Like, yeah. that long? They're like, yeah, I mean, I mean, I really enjoyed it, but dude, it's three, three hours <laughs> long. Three hours of shop talking about whatever. Chilean. Chilean. Yeah. Why would I? I'll just save the other 30 and put it out the following. Right. For it's him, harder it's to do a half hour in some ways because you have to be more disciplined. You got to be more, you know you what I mean? You got to cut the fat. Yeah, you got to cut the fat. Dude, everything they eat. Bean cheese, bean cheese, bean cheese, bean cheese. A half yeah. hour sometimes is harder. So when you're doing shorter, a shorter special is harder than a longer special. In a oh, really, dude? Oh, really? I think it's it's tough. Tough. It I makes think you more disciplined. More disciplined, you got to cut the fat and then yeah. you got to, it has to be 30 minutes of, if it's gonna be thirty. Yeah. Has to be fucking Fire. fury. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck some cookie. What are you talking about? It's like a chocolate chip with salsa all over it. What are you talking about? This motherfucker is trash. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be fire. <laughs> it has to be fury. <laughs> and then it's a Mexican cookie <laughs> joke. <laughs> Even the crowd's oh. like, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you got to figure out what to put in, what to take. I out. got that. You know how like Theo Vaughn can't bring on cocaine. You know how like he struggles with cocaine. <laughs> Like, if there was cocaine on the table right now, he'd fucking snort it from right field. You feel me? <laughs> Disgusting. It's like death by a thousand self-inflicted paper cuts. Death by a thousand cuts. <laughs> Fuck you. 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> See, he knows. Yep. He knows. It's the clip of them talking about it before, Dalia and all that. That's kind of like the, um, you know how before 9-11 happened, they were getting yeah. reports about... Osama bin Laden and movements and Donald like, Rumsfeld talking about the Afghani trillions Stone. of dollars lost. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that is. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, next clip here. That was a great uh, little dish. Thank you. All I do is lie to you. This one's posted by monkey news. Weird name. Uh, it's called Sam Alvey names the waters. Is it monkey nose or news? I think it's two O's. That's a big oh, difference. Oh, it's monkey let's nose. See, yeah, it's nose. Dude. <laughs> it's monkey. Be, be cool. cool. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. <laughs> all right. Let's see what this is all about here. Uh, he, it's difficult to watch. I hear he has a second one. I don't want to watch that. This. What is he talking about? <laughs> I mean, I know, you know, he's talking about the gringo poppy. I've, I've seen this clip. Um, and I and like, uh, this guy's funny. It's yeah. a good clip. I think it's funny that I think he just started his podcast and he already has like way more set up than we just did. Oh, yeah, the yeah. thing. <laughs> so he's that white boy that works too much for sure. And he's talking about Gringo Poppy. <laughs> the second one. Gringo Poppy did not do oh, it for me. Um, no, he's talking about Gringo Poppy. He hasn't seen the first one. Oh, okay. I, I, I'm not a he's numbers not guy. Talented. He's not talented. He's it's, not talented. It's, <laughs> Leading up to this video here, I've done some research on what it takes to become a comic. Yeah. And it's apparently five years 
at a minimum before you're. <laughs> I like how there's <laughs> uh, roosters in the background. <laughs> almost tolerable to people like you have to get out there and just grind and suck for at least five years before you might not suck this was Brandon Schwab he got high with his friends around a campfire around the living room <laughs> playing Call of Duty and <laughs> just kind of took what he said there and put it on stage oh be cool Sam absolutely though that's like a very that's a fury uh, analysis there that's amazing <laughs> What a murderer and this guy it was is. And plus fun. It. I'm sorry, Mr. Schwab. You, <laughs> Mr. you, you Schwab. Mu- I'd say you were an amazing UFC fighter. You were in the UFC. Yeah, I believe you were in the NFL, too. Uh, I believe you were in the NFL, too. <laughs> well, that's nice. That's a kind of a compliment there. It's not true. <laughs> Oh. You've got your talents. I talk show. I, I never listen to your talk show, <laughs> but it's done well. I do know that your your podcast, The Fighter and the Kid, has done very well. So <laughs> power to me on that. You have an ability to speak, but to speak cleverly, not so much. Uh, or at least you haven't hit that five year mark. Let's let's call that attempt one, and then we'll <laughs> let's call that attempt one. They should change the name of the special attempt two. Do you think when people say Schwab, it's on purpose or by accident? I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. It's on accident. I think he's saying it, yeah, on accident. Because there, if you can say Schwab as sort of an insult, yeah. I, but it, yeah, I don't, I don't think because he is. Uh, you see how Brennan reacts in the moment to somebody misspelling saying his name. It's it's a frequent occurrence. Does he realize? Well, I, don't, I don't remember. Um, he, well, I guess with Rampage, he realized because Rampage is Schwab. Did he ever correct Rampage? I think so. It's funny because he gets names wrong so much. It's sort of like his punishment. Oh, your name is going to be one of those names that people just mess up. Yeah. All right. So this one's posted by uh, the guy that built the ground we walk on, Sorgon Bird. Nice. I'm addicted. <laughs> uh, it's called Started the CEO Chant. Let's see here. I love you as well. I love you too. Thank you. Much love, guys. CEO! 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 <laughs> CEO, 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 CEO. When they come at the king, they best not. People know. Don't get it twisted. Love, love. Ten seven. Ten seven. Ten seven. That's a leader right there. Dude, I wish yeah. I was there, bro. Yeah I, w- yeah, I wish I could go in on that chant. <laughs> Four more years, B. Uh, all right, let's go to the next clip. We got a lot of clips today, guys. This one's called uh, A Very Awkward Interaction Between Schlob and One of His Paid Fans, posted by Max Powerbike. Uh, let me see how I can get this full screen. All right, so y- you said that we've seen this before. I don't think we have. And I've not laughed. Dude, I couldn't stop laughing. Your It's a medical condition. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. See you guys. Hear that? He couldn't stop laughing. That's BGL, right? Yeah, that's BGL. Yeah. Vintage BGL. BGL. The, I love the th- the shirt. It has donuts. We we now see some of the shirts because we have merch from yeah. Walsh. But that one, I got the tiger thick. You got the dicey. That one has donuts all over the thick. Yeah. It's just so stupid. You also forgot to mention, I got the, oh, the, the thick, thick boy, boy hat. hat yeah, dude. yeah. Look at that. It's like a NASCAR hat. I, I almost started crying. You saw me when I got the hat. I was like, You're no very happy. fucking way I got a thick boy hat, dude. Yeah, dude. We're balls deep in thick boy merch now, thanks yeah. to Walsh. Yeah. I wore the Gringo Poppy shirt on stage at uh, Ice House. <laughs> That's highly redacted. <laughs> That's, I wouldn't want to be any of the way. <laughs> all right. So this one's posted by Scientist Mystical. Uh, it's the the flare is called Bappa's baddies, <laughs> and it's uh, Bappa punching the air right now. <laughs> you just gotta figure some shit out, dude. <laughs> Shout out to Yvonne, dude. Thank him. He's out here, dude. Yeah, he's doing very well. Oh, yeah. He's everywhere, podcast number one, all that. And then Shab is doing Shab. You know, Shab is doing well, too, though. It's not a sad thing. In our hearts. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a sad thing. (laughs) No, you're right. It's not a sad thing. Um, All right. So this next one is posted by S.O. Jerzer. Did I say that right? Yeah. Um, It's called Theo given good intel early 2019, but wasn't ready to receive it. Have you oh, seen yeah, this one? I have, yeah. Yeah, this one's good. Highly redacted. We do. So, so you you got a, you got a new show with with uh, Shao, right? <laughs> Everyone does it, dude. Yeah. So, so I'm flying solo here. 
uh, I've listened to two episodes. They're really funny. They're really yeah. good. Thanks, man. Uh, I'd say 90% of the reason it's really good is you. Right. And I feel like when you're hitting punchlines, he pops the balloon purposely. Yeah. Oh, you think? I know. No, I know because when someone's rolling it, and shit, 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 and when, wow, listen, listen, he, he right down the punch straight, straight up. I'm speaking for my own, not this yeah, no, it's fine. When someone's ro- when rolling, obviously as a listener, you can feel it. And I know when you're setting up that joke about that boy back home and then boom, like his word will just cut it off and it'll, it'll take away your ability to, to drop the hammer and boom, yeah. you know, and do that gender neutral haircut deal. Oh, yeah. You, you, you know what I'm saying? So, so, so that so right that there. GNC, baby, that gender neutral cut. Yeah. So that right there is, is, is competition. So it, you're a smart guy. You're probably aware, but that dude, you guys may be partners because he's got a good following. You got a good following. But that dude wants to outshine you every show. Straight talk wireless, brother. Right. Every show. Ever. <laughs> I don't give a fuck who it makes uncomfortable. If Brendan's uncomfortable because you are fucking no, funnier than me. Uh, th- th- well, he may be, but... but he- no, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying if he is. Right. But what I'm saying is, he, here's a bad look for Theo Vaughn and all <laughs> the hard work he's put in. So you got a new show. If this dude kept, keeps stepping on you, if he does, theoretically, when you're dropping those fucking hitters, that's going to make <laughs> the listener say like... Man, sh- yeah, I listen to the show for Schaub Be- because you're. Whoa, I don't know about that, dude. Yeah, no, that's that's highly redacted for him to say that. But I appreciate that he's trying to give Theo advice. What? Yeah. This is four years ago now. When somebody has too much wall art, listen. <laughs> you know I mean? No, but I don't know. He's giving good advice, and I agree with most of what he's saying. It is funny that it's advice about Brendan Schaub as being given in the cadence of a grind set person. <laughs> yeah, he's like, listen, ninety percent of the jokes. Are because of you. Yeah. Ten percent or like and then ninety percent of those jokes Shab is trying to get gadouched. <laughs> Ten percent right? of the ninety percent of that is you with your haircut. <laughs> so what you need to do is leave the podcast, start your own podcast, be baddies at UFC. <laughs> I don't know. I also like how there's uh Shabisms and then there's Theovanisms. The Theovanisms are oh, hilarious. Yeah, yeah, he's very good at it. Shab's just kinda trying to But Shabisms have their fucking cults. There's no like is there a cult of people speaking like Theo Vaughn? I don't know. That's a good point. You know, at that point, is straight talk wireless. You know? <laughs> For your greatness is being is being kind of pushed on because you're allowing it. Mm. You're allowing it. Yeah. Sure, he may be doing it, but you could stop it. You're a man. It's not like a, a fist fight's going to happen, yeah. but a serious talk can. And then the show becomes better for the listener because you're fucking funny. But if I can't hit feel your punchline. Yeah, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna check out another podcast. Yeah, no, well, look, I, I appreciate you bringing that up. I mean, and I'll keep tabs if I feel like that that occurs. You know, uh, I mean, there's moments where, like, the other day I went in there and I was not feeling good and I didn't want to do anything. And Brendan is like extremely charming. A lot of people tune in. You know, he's like this kind of big, like, lovable kind of, you, you know, character, and and people love him. You know, and so I was grateful that day for his energy because I needed it to get through the episode. Yes, and I was just so. Grateful. That's a good that. partnership. Yeah, I don't want to dog him. I was just using that as an no, no, and I, and I respect it. <laughs> That'd be funny if during his rant, that somebody comes up. Where do you want the uh, five Nelson Mandela pictures? <laughs> we hang it up over. We have uh, we have another Che Guevara thing. Is it okay if I hang it up now? I think you're hating on him, but I think he's got the best brains. Babe. I know. I just you know he's I'm got the best. Fun. Brains. I'm just I'm trying to think of a shabism to go. Does he ever say I'm just messing? Uh He's just not one of our guys. No, at the end, I think the ending of the clip is right now. It's just. Did I think, look, I'll say this, man. Like, that's a fucking brave example to present. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But yeah, I mean, dude. He's right. It's really cool of him to do that. I mean, maybe not on the earwaves. You know what I mean? Yeah, don't talk about men on airwaves. Yeah. But uh, it's really cool of him to, to see that. So, like, only two episodes in. Yeah, no, he's right. I'm just, I'm being a little blockbuster, but just having fun, B. Um, all right, so let's go to the next one. It's posted by Postmodern Blues. It's called Bapa Tells Chappelle He's Not Good Enough to Jam with His Boy, Travis Barker, 2023 <laughs> update. Let's see what this is about. But I still fucked with him because Travis Barker is my boy. And Travis, one of the yeah, best Travis, people uh, I know. The- Travis is literally one of the best people on earth, and he <laughs> fucks with him, so I got to imagine yeah. he is a good person. Thanks for that follow, Travis. <laughs> He's great. Yeah, that's my guy. Not real. Let me know if you want to jam. Okay, copy that. With the best drummer alive right now, you want to jam? <laughs> well, why wouldn't what, I? That would be awesome. Well, why not? When was the yeah. last time you jammed? Uh, like <laughs> a I full on band? Yeah. Oh, that's been a minute. Probably uh, 
2000. Remember when I did it on stage? Um, yeah, just okay. give me how many years ago. I think it was like two years ago. Yeah, so it's yeah. a long time. He plays every day. <laughs> <laughs> every day. Every day. In any facet. I like, uh, Shab has this history of like asking a question, but not looking for the answer, knowing he's right. You know yeah. What I mean? Yeah, no, it's, it's kind of like. We're um, all guilty of that too. That's true. The way he asks questions, I think, is sort of. Well, it's like a redacted way of following something in 48 laws of power, probably, yeah. or how to win friends and influence people. Um, and then he, I like it when he does this like Logan Roy character where he's just sitting there. He's like, Oh really? You want to do that? <laughs> Is that what you think, son? You think you can take over for me? You can't, but he's so dumb. Yeah. So Pell's just like, what? Yeah. Why wouldn't I want to do that? <laughs> my ass doesn't mean i don't know how to jam with a band you, you can play music you play music you, play music. <laughs> you are you can go you can go and go into a gym right now and get some ufc shit going no you? no <laughs> yeah travis parker yeah. <laughs> can't talk that's pretty dope yeah thank him dude editing. Bubba Beast of an editor. Congrats to Chappelle Lacey. You, you know, he walked, built the ground we walk yeah, on. Yeah, you know what he did? What? Bet on himself. Yeah, he bet on himself. Fuck this gringo poppy telling me what to do, dude. All right, so this one was just funny. It's posted by Independent Ad 804. It's uh, what are we doing here? <laughs> and it's a salmon. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Post and people were taking and putting on other stuff. Yeah. Pretty good. Balls deep in fish, B. Uh, alrighty. Well, let's see the next one. This one's called uh, Bapa inserts a B-Shab anecdote to prove that he knows Eminem has social media <laughs> posted by all I do is lie to you. Have you seen this one? No, I've heard about it though on the subreddit. Pretty neck vlogs. Crawford didn't break a sweat, dude. Mm -hmm. He had a mark on his face. I know. He looked so good. He looked amazing, yeah. dude. Walked out with Eminem. Do you know the story with Eminem? <laughs> uh, a little bit, but go ahead. So Bud, I think on social media was like, yeah, I'd love for. Oh, he's he said media correctly. Yeah, that was actually very good. Good job, Sean. For a big time musician to walk out with me, but I don't have anyone this week of the fight. Eminem sees it and go, and Eminem's on Instagram. Yeah. He needs to work on saying Eminem. Yeah, yeah. Eminem. That's a new one for him, so give him time. He says Eminem without the and in the middle. He's Mm. Mm. <laughs> Man, Twitter, spring, social spring. media. Spring, he's spring. DM me. I, I had a thing with Eminem, right? So I know he's on social media because when they were doing that, like kind of they were trolling the UFC Dana White, they hit me up to blast it out, you know? So I did it. I Smoked down to insane. Smoked down to insane. <laughs> <laughs> That's when the Kratom hit. <laughs> One of the craziest times in my life because I'm such an Eminem fan. But so Bud Crawford comes out and goes, I'd love for a big musician to walk out, but I don't know anybody. You know, Eminem. He's telling a story about how Eminem walked out for Terrence Crawford, and he has to throw in there that he has gotten DM'd by Eminem. Yeah, well, he's got a name drop a little bit, and, you know. Yeah. Tell show everybody how big in every facet. You know, he knows all the celebs and stuff. Also, probably not important, but there's no Diet Coke on the arm there. As you can see, it's a vintage cola. It's he's drinking something else. Oh, he's trying to be healthier. I something guess? pop. I don't know. Vintage or maybe cola. they paid him to. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're, I don't know. didn't think about that. Never once have I seen him drink a rain. I, yeah, no one ever drinks rain. He doesn't need it. He's all hopped up. If he drinks a rain. He's gonna be in, in trouble. <laughs> It's be different. But I didn't know that. They, what are the Funko Pops? Oh yeah, have they always had that? Yeah, he's all, he's got he's, he's balls deep. Yeah, he's balls deep in Funko Pops. B right. Caesar goes. I'm down. You're my favorite boxer. Boom. Doesn't pay him nothing. It was a. You want the ten? Yeah, just flat <laughs> cash out. Yeah. All right. Okay. No going back on that. Nope. You got it. Oh! Oh, oh no, no no! He knocked him out. Head oh, kick. I don't know why this is in there. Poirier knocked yes! out the head kick because he says. Yes! The I mean, Gaethje I knocked him out. Oh, I owe you a minutes. lot of money. <laughs> yep. Oh no. Anyway, if I start being uh, disingenuous and unauthentic, <laughs> bad guy. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So that's that's the end of the clip. That's I've good. yeah. Put some big hits in the end. We'll kind of uh, telegraph the punch there. We're gonna go into some uh, Carl Bassett fight companion later. Nice. Um, but let's go to this next one. It's called "The Poker Tell Indigestion Flares Up When Tom Bout the JRE FC," posted by All I Do Is Lie to You. Uh, do you believe him when he says that uh, Eminem DM'd him? It's possible. Yeah. Yeah. 
highly redacted. Let's see. Fun probably, weekend yeah, of for believing. <laughs> fights, man. What a, what a time to be a fight fan. This is why we do it, man, for weekends like this. I had such a good time with the companion. I got a little down because Cheeto couldn't do it. Yeah. Cheeto's my boy, and he was moving. He thought he was going to have some help with his mother-in-law. Cheeto's not here. Cheeto had an emergency at the crib, so we're going back and forth. I was like, this just stop, dude. I, I can hold this down myself. Like, we'll get you on the next one. Don't be. This should be fun. It shouldn't be stressful. He's like, love you, man. Got it. And I'm like, just do your thing. Take care of your family. So I thought about canceling it, and boy, am I glad I did it. Mm. It was such a I, it's such. It's the best show to do. Now, it's the best show that I do here, but nothing's better when it's Rogan, Eddie, Brian, and me, which we're doing this Saturday uh, in Austin at JRE Studios nice. um, yeah. for Corey Sanhagen and Rob Font. Dope. And it's a fight night. Thank him. Just give us an excuse to get together. Yeah. But it's not even a paper to get to fight night, baby. <laughs> you left a gordita. <laughs> <laughs> Later, Later, bro. Later. Everyone just leaving. It'd be funny if um, Cheeto Vera not doing the show, he just became huge. <laughs> He's like, he all of a sudden has a really good podcast. And yeah. Just, things are going up. Every time you leave, Shab is like the that Dane Cook movie. What is it, Chuck or whatever? When you break oh, up with him. Oh, Good Luck Chuck. Good Luck Chuck. He's like basically the Good Luck Chuck of entertainment. Good Luck Shop. <laughs> all right. So this one's good hilarious. Luck, uh, this one's posted by Minimum Sky two three zero five. It's called Good Start, and you got to get ready, B, because this starts off hot. Oh, ready? Shit. Good morning, Vietnam. Name the movie. <laughs> uh, good morning. Vietnam. <laughs> oh my god! I have not seen that. That one is. That's one of the funniest ones I've ever seen. I'm surprised. I'm, I'm not laughing out loud, but that's shocking. Name the movie. He says it. He does, he's Michael Scott. They're, whoever pulled the Michael Scott is nailing it. He's Michael Scott in real life. Good morning, Vietnam. Name the movie. Uh, good morning, Vietnam. Who's in it? Even Chin can't hold in the homelessness. He's like, uh, what you just said, dude? Uh, that would be a great stand-up bit for him, dude. He should do that on his next dude, special, dude. Shab, yeah, dude. Shab is, he's, if a jock, ster a steroid jock became middle management, <laughs> but his middle management job was doing podcasts. Robin Williams. There we go. Oh, come on, dude. Ding, ding, ding. We're off to a good start. Monday morning, July 30, 31st. 30, 30. <laughs> July 40th. <laughs> July 41st. <laughs> Thirst. Thirst. <laughs> What's going on? Dude, what are we doing this here? This one's great. Let's this try. Okay. Okay. Let's try to see. Good morning, Vietnam. Name the movie. Um, Good morning, Vietnam. <laughs> Who's in it? Robin Williams. There we go. Come on. Dude. Ding, ding, ding. We're off to a good start. Monday morning, July 30, 31st. 30 thirst. 30 thirst, baby. Wappenheimer, daddy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna start watching the shop show, dude. This is lit. This is a wild. <laughs> yeah, I got a whopper last weekend. Whenever <laughs> I got a whopper last weekend, I thought he was saying he's got a whopper less weekend. Oh. Like he's not gonna have any whoppers. I think he said last weekend. Let's see. Benheimer, daddy. I got a whopper last weekend. Whenever J oh, Big right. J Shop, yeah. my older brother's in town. Uh, <laughs> we were born and raised on Burger King. There's one like a mile <laughs> from our house, so that's all we used to eat is Burger King. So me and him, dude, he gets there. We some Wappenheimer brothers, man. <laughs> oh, we get one Whopper with cheese and ketchup only each, and a large Diet Coke. We don't fuck with the fries. Don't mess on the other stuff. That's all you get. Best burger in town. Crushes anything else, dude. Make burger King? <laughs> yeah. Oh, really, dude? <laughs> no. What's a better burger than that? Anything? I mean, almost any yeah. fast food is better than Burger King. I'd rather take a quarter pounder than a Whopper. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. It's just the nostalgic factor. There's not a ton of Burger Kings out there. They're, they're closing up shop. Yeah, because they suck. It's like the blockbuster of burgers, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> he said blockbuster, dude. Fat people are like, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite burger. You're not into mayo? What? You're not into mayo? What? No, man, I'm American, bro. <laughs> That's what makes the Whopper for me. No. Oh, with like that. the lettuce and all that? Lettuce yeah, and, and ketchup. Oh, sorry. No, the no. mayo and the ketchup. No, no. I, I can't vouch for that. Okay? <laughs> Dude, he's on one today. Dude, he's, he's on fire right now. I, I want to say this might be like Kratom Liss. You know what I mean? Maybe. If that's the case, you know... Do that more. Do that more. Yeah, Stop dude. taking Kratom. This, this is, is great. A, this is a solid one minute and 23 seconds. He is firing on all cinders, yes. as I've said in the past. Right. It's just ketchup, cheese. That's it. Beans and Fantastic cheese. Fantastic burger. 
What's burgers? Uh, <laughs> burger, have it your way. You rule. <laughs> that's their campaign. You what? rule. My kids sing it all the time. That's why I know it. Oh, Which one is that? That was endearing, one. dude. I don't know the you rule thing. Um, I know that the Whopper song is that. Uh, have it your way at BK. Have it your way. Yeah, that's true. You rule. Oh yeah, he oh, does. Yeah, okay, he says, so he's not redacted there. And I know that because my girlfriend's kids sing it all the time. Wow. <laughs> uh, all righty. Uh, yeah. So let's go to the next one, dude. I might be just as redacted as Shab, and you know what? I'm here for it, Papa. <laughs> this one's posted <laughs> by All I Do Is Lie to You. Uh, it's called Another L Dealt by Papa Toe to Bapa. I haven't seen this one yet. Let's see what this is about. Well, yeah. You know, yeah. you know what we're doing on Fire and the Kid, right? What are you doing? We're gonna have we're kid. gonna have uh, Brandon Bradley Schaub Barton. get more brain nope. damage. Well, <laughs> I have to talk him into that. There's no. a number. You're not talking him into that. We're talking. What the fuck there is wrong a, with you? There might be a check. I might it was be his a, manager. One of the most traumatic moments in the history of us doing podcasts together is convincing him to stop fighting. I know, <laughs> and I'm pulling him back in now. Listen. Why? <laughs> Hey, if, if you, there's a number on the check, you're you're like the fucking cool. the colonel in the Elvis movie. I am I'm a bad guy. <laughs> piece of shit. But how about this, Mighty Mouse, Bradley Martin? You got a gambling problem or something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm putting all my money on Derek Lewis. <laughs> oh God, Derek and so Lewis. is Brendan. And so is Brendan. Bro, We're I would too. I would too. Do you? I can't bet on the UFC, but I'll bet on that. Brendan, Brendan. Sorry, Brendan. Uh, wait, so Brendan's gonna fight Derek Lewis? Uh, no. I, is that what they're saying? I don't know. Well, like. It's almost a, you know, I like I like Rogan as I've said, but it's a little offensive almost to talk about your friend like this. Yeah, <laughs> on a huge podcast, almost like he's some sort of pet or whatever. Well, there's a difference because they're friends, so he's probably like, ah, Joe's being a silly gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, but they're like, they're like, uh, I don't know. I don't yeah, know. who knows? All right, so this one's posted by the homie Haphazard. It's called "You're the Only Person Who Whose Head Looks Weird with Hair." Let's see. Yeah. Hanging with Tinder. Hey, shave your head, man. It looks good like that. Nah, look I like shave it. it. Nah, you just, you jealous of my long hair? Nah, but bro, you jealous no. of you more long than yours, huh? Nah, it's not. First of all, it's no. Not. You're the only person whose head looks weird with hair. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, Haunted. your head Certified looks weird homeless. with hair. Because I I agree with Chris. You look attractive right there, uh-huh. and now you look fucking doggone ugly. Yeah. No, no, no. That's what I tell, bro. <laughs> nah, you're a good looking dude. But what yeah. but uh but what's up with even your hair? All, even all that stuff. Look with the little part. Oh, that you look handsome. Look at that fucking with the part. With the suit. Check him out with Ooh. the you know yep. the 1984 yeah, honestly, part. You even look yeah. good with Joanna's hair like that. Ah. Joanna's hair like that. Joanna's hair like that? What does that mean? I don't know. B. Who knows, Bapa? But what do you think? He looks handsome uh, shaved or with hair? You know, um, I, I'm i more paying attention to what he says than how his hair is or what he wears, you know? Yeah. I think the more, it, the more colors and baseball jerseys and um, basketball jerseys and ridiculous shoes, the better. Yeah. That's what I. That's the Bapa I want to see. Yeah, more Diet Coke, more shoes. Yeah, <laughs> more Diet Coke. <laughs> All right, we got another one from Haphazard here. It's called "Nothing a deb- Double Leg Can't Figure Out." So now we're getting into the T Fat K clips of the week. So let's see what this one's all about. It's and with Jorge like Masvidal. This is this is oh yeah, great, G- great Bapa stuff right here. Colorful shoes. Mm-hmm. Um, Diet starts Monday, B. Diet starts Monday with the what is it like? They have like the square pattern on the pants. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is called. I don't know what it's called either. Damn, bro. I heard you're making your debut on my promotion. <laughs> yes. Who you want, yes. bro? Who you want? Man? Yes. I got my matchmaker right yes. here. Who you want? I'll Probably go get him, me, bro. bro. Me. Bare knuckle. Problem. Who do you want, man? Bro. Come on. Uh, if you I had to. I don't know if bare knuckles for me. It'd be the. I you would hate that so much. I can just see you being like, I gotta fight bare. You know what it is for me? Money. It's money. Yeah. Now I, I don't know. You know what? To Listen to me. This is a real thing. What's a real thing? I'll be, your, I'll, be, I'll be in your corner. I'll be I'm your there for beat. you. That's going to help. That's going to help me. Wait. It'll help. <laughs> yeah. Listen, with my, with my fucking silver tongue That's in true. your ear, and you know, you're like, I can't do it. I'm like, you got this, bro. You got this. No, you need to distract my opponent. I, the, the, the free agents, I'm sure it's fucked up fighting for Doom or JDS, bro. No, no, no. You no, can no, keep let's, that, let's dude. Find I heard Derek Lewis is a free agent, too. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Let's find but somebody. You, but you fight. allow grappling and everything. Yeah, it's MMA. Come on, bro. <laughs> it's MMA. You I wouldn't say no to Derek Lewis if I can grapple. Woo! 
Ooh, hey, what right. the fuck? Say Derek oh Lewis debut in my promotion versus Brandon Shaw. You Come on, man. Bro. How many people would? Hey, do you understand Lewis? that people's heads are just fucking? Are you exploding, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Brian can't wait. He can't like oh, just the the chance to do his redacted stupid voice. Uh, me and your corner. Can you do it? <laughs> yeah. I still can't do it. Oh, oh I'll be big. I could do it. I I, I don't know because remember how I told you it's like the monkey dance thing. Yeah, it's yeah. so hard for. I just felt it. That was yeah. Manila. There, there we go. There you felt. <laughs> Shop goes to the corner. He's been beaten to a pulp by Derek Lewis. And Brian's like, um, you got to watch out for the left. All right. <laughs> Nothing in the double leg can't stop. Okay. My son, never be a hawk. Be a whatever. Ugh. Yeah. Never be a, oh, never be a duck. Never be, be a, a duck. Hawk. Be a hawk. <laughs> All right. Ugh. Well, check out the Patreon to see the rest of that uh, <laughs> special <laughs> that we reviewed. Uh, this one's called uh, some, enthr- some more enthralling JRE FC talk fight companion uh, posted by all I do is lie to you. Let's see this here. Another one from TFAT K. We're so, going to uh, Austin this weekend. Austin, I, I got Cap Cities Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yes, we are. I will see you Friday. I only get there to Friday. Beautiful. Boat we'll Friday, Saturday. Let's have some fun. Are you, how much? Uh, I want. If we, we, we should call Rogan after this because you're gonna be how long on the companion? <laughs> we should come on, Rogan. After this. how long are you gonna be on the companion? Brian speaks shop, yeah, like real shop, not Shabanese like we do. Like he literally <laughs> understands what his monkey is saying. <laughs> Whoa, What's dude, that? be what cool, we, bro. I understand you, monkey. No shows one else at what time? I think my shows <laughs> and Cap Cities are probably seven thirty, and I don't know because I think the main card starts at eight uh, Central Time. Yeah, so eight o'clock. So no, um, Saturday seven and ten. So you definitely miss that. Yeah, I'll be. I'll hit the I hate a ten o'clock start, but. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah. Boy, so I can't see my face. In that. So even even if we did, uh, I mean, if we start at, oh my I God, mean, dude. yeah, we'd have to start at five. Five guys. Not making companion. I don't think I am. No. I thought there was a prelim thing, and we're starting at four, but we're gonna all have dinner. I think. Yeah, we're having dinner, but four. I don't want to be from. Four. I'm not. No, we're gonna have dinner at ten. six. Yeah, I know. So I'll join you oh guys for God. dinner, dude. and we'll go. Can't for they do this can't do a campaign for a. F- yeah, they should just, just just agree with each other on camera, and then after be like, listen, let's never do that again. But let's, uh, you know, now we have time to like get the times down. You know, when you vacation, I can't remember the name of the app, but there's an app that will plan your entire vacation if you just put in some information. It goes day by day, and it got like dinner and times and all that stuff. Somebody should suggest that to them so they don't have to do this on camera. Yeah, I don't know. That sounds redacted too, but honestly, <laughs> just don't talk about this on a podcast, dude. Fight night, do the early prelims from. Why don't four you guys? Uh, why don't you guys get the command and come watch me? Yeah, <laughs> I get you good seats. <laughs> Cap Cities. Um, I might be able to make your ten o'clock show. I'd like it. See what you we'll can see do. how long the campaign because Kim. Uh, we'll see. See what you can do. So the campaign goes from eight to <laughs> ten ish. Oh, we'll start at ten. We'll, we'll, see. we'll see. see what happens. But I'll be the Friday, buddy. Good, buddy. I'm excited. looking forward to it. I'm excited. Do since you're. <laughs> this is why we don't travel, dude. Because we'll the, do this on podcast. This is all. It was almost like I was angling for a sponsorship. <laughs> where I'm like, I can't remember the name of it. But if they, if you ever, yeah, uh, the app. If you know what I'm talking about, and you ever see this, I'll say the name of your app, and I'll go. Ever heard of it? <laughs> <laughs> If you need an app to go on vacation, dude, you need to be in prison. Dude. Ah, whatever, hater. <laughs> Haters don't matter, B. <laughs> Boom. There's one right there. Uh, comment below who's more redacted, me or Brendan? <laughs> <laughs> both. Call to action. There's both. a bolt. Yeah, there's going to be a bolt. All right, so this one's again is posted by All I Do Is Lie to You. It's called Must Have Had to Wait in Line in 2021 to Caduce Yourself at the Golden Gate Bridge. I watched this one before. It didn't really make sense, but let's see what you think, Papa. Okay. Did you know three people a month jump off Golden Gate Bridge? Well, that's why they put those those uh, nets down there. Isn't that crazy? That ain't happen. That doesn't stop it. <laughs> that doesn't does. stop. <laughs> nah, man. Still three a month. Still? Yeah. Still. Those nets just hold them under longer now. Don't they get caught in the net? Stupid. No. Such a bad risk. Because no, no. boats have to go through there now. Where'd you read that? Stat. stat. <laughs> I read it on Stat. You know that magazine, Stat. I'm always checking stat for what's going on. <laughs> There's an ocean of stat under our feet. I don't want to make fun of him so much for this because I love when he does topics he has no he doesn't have the tack for. Yeah. That's almost my favorite thing when when um Shab starts with something like, you know what happened with the Holocaust, I'm like, Oh yeah. There we go, <laughs> B. Talk about it. <laughs> Couldn't they have security at the bridge? I don't know. Like going in and out? Eighteen thousand eighteen hundred people. 
Since Think about that, dude. 1800. Only 35 has survived. Fatality rate is 98%. As a, and that's from hitting the water? Like, it's water. <laughs> I know, I know what that is. It's water, dude. <laughs> well, they've tried. <laughs> Hold up. That says of the recorded 48,000 suicides recorded in 2021. No, but that's <laughs> that's total suicides. It's not from the Golden Gate. Oh. <laughs> Brennan's not listening. He's just uh, he's, no, he's not shock. hearing anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't understand. Like, he can't count that high. So those numbers yeah. mean nothing to him. Yeah. I mean, you know, don't do that if you uh, want to. Uh, that bridge is not meant for that. The bridge is meant to drive across, walk across, you know, tourist destination. It's not meant to caduce yourself. Yeah, yeah, don't do that, B. What do you think Brendan walks away from that conversation thinking? That they're, like there's just like a line of people waiting to jump off. <laughs> <him>? Probably. <laughs> Pro- he thinks probably that Gavin Newsom needs, is not doing enough or the DA was recalled or some nonsense. <laughs> I hope he brings it up with Joe Rogan. Joe, you heard about the Golden Gate Bridge? 48,000 people died last year. It's all people like that couldn't start their businesses because of COVID. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of small business owners, dude. dude. Uh, all right, so this one's called Beast of a Way to End the Episode B, posted by Toronto Rapture. This is a dicey clip, dude. Ready? Um, Keep your mouth shut. How do, I, how do I do this? Uh, I have... Yeah. Okay. Well, I was going to say. Were you on Epstein Island? No, I've had experience. I had. I have. I had a person I was uh, with oh, who, uh, who uh, could have done that to somebody very, very wealthy and very mm-hmm. famous, and didn't. And, uh, <laughs> and didn't. not 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 her style, but yeah, you can do that stuff. Oof. You can do that stuff if you want. Yeah, if you else, should I get a rap here? <laughs> Nice, dude. I can watch that seven days a week. Wow, dude. He's a black. That's where he got his black belt. Black belt and singing too, dude. Mm-hmm. Or a lip syncing rather. Yep. <laughs> uh, all right. So this. Okay. Now we're getting into the Carl Bassett fight companion. Yes. Clips for the week, which we watched live. We watched live. You can see that uh, it's our third 10 minutes of shop live. Yeah. But honestly, dude, did we pay attention? No, not really. We had the fights also. So we were watching the fights, trying to comment yeah. on that. It was a, uh, you know, impromptu stream, uh, but join the discord. We'll, we'll post in the discord every time we're about to go live. Cause some people don't get the notifications. Right. Yeah. Some people don't check stat. Yeah. Know. Yeah, check stat B. Check stat, dude. Uh, all right, so this one's posted by All I Do Is Lie to You. It's called The Hair Is the Entire 10 great, 10K Grand S- Bet Scenario. Here it goes. Sorry, guys, I have to do a little read. <laughs> no, no, all good. It's all good. Speaking of money, <laughs> I thought about it. Uh, with main event, or are you talking about main, main event, co main event? Main event. Main event. Gaethje. Gaethje. Poirier. I called it, dude. I, I had Gaethje. You had Poirier. Yeah. You owe me $10,000. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying Gaethje. Okay, I'll take Poirier to the diamond. <laughs> Good call. And uh, hot sauce in the MMA. <laughs> Dude, it's hot sauce. I feel though. like last time. I feel like last time we. I don't know. I think we did five, so I think we got to double it. Ten G's. Yeah. Well, I mean, listen. What, I know 10, you're a car 000? guy. I know you're a car guy. Yeah. I know you're a car guy. You got some. You have some nice. You jumped in the whip the other day. Yes. You didn't think you'd fit. I had no. <laughs> oh, was that like him doing stuff for us? <laughs> I don't know. Man, I don't know, but Shab. Trying to get those job doing some catnip there. It's some. It's it's the only takeaway, dude. Yeah. Like he can't believe it's other people's only takeaway, but it is his only takeaway. Yeah, dude. Both ways. That's how. Oh, I, I did that. I told you. <laughs> that's that's two sixty, man. I'm yeah. confident about this though. <laughs> All right. I'm confident about. All right. Shoot your shot. Play. You really believe Poirier? Yes. Why do you believe Gaethje? Tell I me just, how he beats Poirier. You can't because he doesn't. Can I he argue does. for Brad? I, no, he I, does. I could argue for Brad here a little bit. Just I. He does. If you, if you go, if you look at if you look at their last fight. Poirier was killing him though. No, here's the thing. Nah, Poirier was losing on the, on the cards a little bit, and also with the he, leg kicks. He literally was not. I looked. I watched that fight two days ago. I looked at the scorecards. It was heavily in Poirier's it. favor. The only thing Gagey had was the leg kicks. He was getting countered. He was getting ripped. Momentum to the head was the on the side going to that fourth. Then you had the eye. Okay, poke. the fourth round. It was Gagey was kind of taking over. Yes. 
into that fourth round, and they got clocked immediately. Poirier timed that leg kick in round one. He was launching that left straight I'm from be round you, one. Fuck all that. I saw a clip that Poirier was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Poirier was talking about, like, he, you know, being bigger guys is easy, and that just kind of pissed me off personally. That's, that's fair. fair. That's, that's a 260 so, mindset. That's a 260 mindset. I'm 260, brother. Listen, I'm right, not Gaethje's also this. changed his yeah. fighting style, according to him and Trevor Whitman, since last time well, he's fighting smarter, which I think it's his strength of schedule it allows yeah. him to fight smarter and get wins. I don't know. If- I mean, Gaethje's a murderer, dude. He's just a murderer. Well, yeah, no, he, he that leg kick was crazy. First clip, though, that we watched with Bradley Martin. What do you think? What are your thoughts? Uh, Bradley Martin, I think he's next leagues. He just goes, B. He That's just goes. I thought, yeah. Just right now, he's just going. I think more than Blockbuster, he's Netflix. I think Bradley Martin's such a good companion to Brendan Chop. Yeah, I think they work well together. Because no part of him is judging Brendan Chop. He's just like, ha, ha, you're Brendan Chop, dude. You know? Yeah, he's doing the companion the right way. Yeah, just having fun with it. I think. And uh, like I, I think I said on the uh, companion we did, th- these three people together are probably the best content I've ever seen Brendan Chop make. Yeah, because they're actually talking. Right? Yeah. I mean, we've never watched one live besides that one sort of being kind of redacted to compare, but all the clips that get pulled are like just them putting away rappers and like <laughs> <laughs> picking out ice cubes and things and not really even talking to each other. Let's see. James it's, Vick, Edson Barboza, Donald Cerrone were the three fights older. after he all, fought Poirier. All older. Exactly. Except for Those, Vick. And he got first round KOs in all of them because, again, it's easier competition. He so what do you want, Poirier. Brad? What do you want? Shoot, shoot, dog. You want the 10? Yeah, just flat. Like Cash out. Yeah. All right. Cash. Or like whatever. You can cash me. Cash me. I don't have 10 G's. Cash what I look like. Come on. I look like Steve Jobs, dog. Yeah, whatever. No, he cash does. App. A lot of mentions of Steve Jobs in this fight companion, by the way. Hmm. I feel like he just watched Jobs or something. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Blackfish. <laughs> okay. No going back on that. Nope. You got it. Okay. Now I'm be stressed out the entire night. I love it. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to. This is so much more fun. It's so intense. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think over under on uh, him paying him? That's a good question. I mean, he doesn't pay the people that work for him. Yeah. But this is pretty public. I think it's all, all depends on the numbers, B. That's true. If he got a lot of viewers with uh, Bradley Martin on, he has to pay him. He's like, you know what, dude? It's good. It's he wants him to do it again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then also, you don't want Bradley Martin out there being like, shop never paid me. That's true. He has a big reach. Yeah. All right. So uh, this one's called Bradley Checks the Stream Chat. Uh, <laughs> all I do is lie to you is the poster here. Let's see what this is about, dude. I know you hate when I read the chat. I got to read the chat. Like, yeah, like, yeah. They're not nice to me, dude. Please quit. Yeah, don't tell me anymore. No, I, no, no, I won't. I, yeah. I just. It's he's funny. lying. Every comment's no, 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 like. He's like, no, dude, it, they dude. like you. Yeah, they love it's, you, dude. No, <laughs> he's gotten seven death threats. <laughs> Why do you think people like to talk shit about you? Yeah, about me? Oh. Yeah. Uh, right. I do. I do a lot of shows. Um, but a lot of the audience was introduced for me on the Ultimate Fighter, where I was a cocky fighter, which you got to be when you fight. Fair. So they never, they oh for them, it's tough. Like if you're you put in a box, yeah. it's tough for them to separate that. So if they've been following me since the Ultimate Fighter UFC days, when yeah, I thought I was going to win every fight and knock everybody out. That's how you got to be as a fighter. Yeah. So oh, he's arrogant. No, I'm not. It's a job. Yeah. Nobody says that. Maybe that guy. Um, I, we haven't talked about him in so long. What's the guy that does that did that big famous video? Which one? Um, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, he did the big thing on Shab. Oh, uh, beige him. frequency. Beige frequency. Maybe he's like that. Yeah. I think most people liked him when he was. Fighting. No, I mean, dude, he's. This gives me some sort of uh, like I feel better about this now because I do want to meet Shab. I want to be wearing the Thick Boy merch. Yes. I got the night vision goggles, my Ugg boots on, big dick right yes, there. Yes, Still on yes, me. Sorry course, about that. Of course. Um, I want to meet him. Not even, I don't want to take a picture with him. Right? I just want to be like, Shop, I love you, dude. You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? I want him to keep going and like build. Yeah. So yeah. No, I agree. I agree. It's like the same way Shane Gillis was able to take a picture with Donald Trump. Maybe Donald Trump had no clue that Shane Gillis is doing this impression of him. Right. Like on everywhere, even in any facet, you know? It, Yes, I agree. I agree with you. But in what I was saying is more on the viewers, like the actual opinion. Like, of course, we are huge fans of Shab. Oh, I mean, we don't even need to say that. He's so off base on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're right. I'm just reiterating. Yeah. So I like he's very off base, but it Fair gives enough, me yeah. hope that one day when I see him in person, he doesn't furrow his brow and start to throw punches at me. He's oh, like, because he thinks he just don't get I'm it. a fan, dude. Yeah, yeah. Because I am a fan, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the best shit of all time. This is so funny to me. <laughs> Am I wrong, dude? Look at his fa- the confidence in his face. He's like, listen, I just made a really good point. <laughs> I want to walk up to him and go, good 
Good Morning Vietnam. Name, Name the, the movie. movie. Who's the actor? <laughs> <laughs> that was a save for him. <laughs> yeah. And then you transition where most fighters stop. You know, once they stop fighting, they you know they go on to open a gym or do it. And there's nothing wrong with that. Mm. I went to something completely different. Started going comedy podcasts. Yeah. Now you're gonna stand up. It's just it's just not natural. So it's it's mm. it, and I do a lot of content for people to hate on. I don't know. Yeah. And I give and I have a lot of opinions. That's why I have a successful podcast. Mm. I have a lot of opinions. So <laughs> a lot I of like people, same. a lot of people fuck with it. A lot of people don't. But either way, you're talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, there at we least go. he has that. Yeah, we're talking about it. Yeah, He's we're not wrong. We talk about him every week. B. Where's the lie, B? Yeah. No, this is a, this is our favorite time of the week, as the song says. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Seven times a week. I look forward to meeting him, dude. I just want to meet him. Be like, yo, dude, I love you. I mean, that's maybe weird to say. I probably shouldn't say that, huh? No, you should say that. And I also, I look forward to you meeting him first. Oh, you don't want to meet him? No, I do want to meet him, but you first. That way I'm in safe. Like if he's safe with you, yeah, then maybe I'm also. Oh, not, well, I'm going to be wearing the thick boy hat, dude. <laughs> I'm going to be wearing the dicey <laughs> shirt. Uh, man, oh, you know what I want to get is that fucking jacket, dude. That golden hour jacket. Oh, that's, yeah, that's the piece de resistance. And then the uh, diet starts Monday pants. You yeah. know what I mean? Got my big yeah. dick on me still. You know, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, all right, let's go to the next one then. You do you you never fantasize about meeting shop, dude? Um, yeah, I think about it. I think it could be funny. I just hope I we haven't hurt his feelings really. No, I mean I don't think we have. He's, he's a big guy, you know, but he gets his feelings get hurt as we know from that clip. Yeah, I just hope there's not a back room where he's like, oh, let's send him back there, and then they fucking chin beats the shit out of me or something. You know, if chin beat you out, that'd be funny. Yeah, that wouldn't be funny. It'd be hurtful. Uh, <laughs> I all don't right. think I think you got chin. If you needed to, but no, <laughs> I'm not. I'm a terrible fighter. Okay, so this one's posted by Redacted as Fug. It's called Emergency at the Crib. I think we already seen this, but let's see. I didn't acknowledge Cheeto's not here. Cheeto had an emergency at the crib. He, I don't give too much away, but it was an issue. He would have got here late. I'm like, dude, be with your family. <laughs> 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 yeah, Best day of his life, yeah. They see me rolling, <laughs> redacted, <laughs> strolling with my baddie on the back of my bike. <laughs> so stupid. I tried. It was good. Okay, cool. All right, let's just go to the next one. Do you think he was a... Uh, what What do you think the emergency was? Um, You know, I, I think... Uh, I, don't, I don't buy into conspiracies, B. I think he probably did have a family emergency. Yeah. He no, was I, a good guy. I'm not saying he didn't. I'm asking yeah. you what the emergency was. Oh, what it was? was? Yeah. I don't know. That's his That's his business. <laughs> don't talk about men on your <laughs> yeah, ways, don't talk dude. about men on your ways, man. I like how all of these uh, flares are stat. Every single one we've been watching <laughs> is stat. It reminds you. It reinforces the new uh, Shabism. <laughs> all right. So this one is again posted by All I Do Is Lie To You. It's called Bradley is getting pizza and Bapa is talking about Bud Light as the 10K grand bet fight is on. <laughs> no shock. The Schwab curse continues. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, no. coming in with the Modellas. No. You're the fuck. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think Bud Light owns Modell and their stocks through the roof. And everyone's like, "Yeah, take that Bud Light." And, and it's Bud like, no, like we money. own them yeah. too, dumbass. <laughs> Another six Modellas. pack locked and loaded. There's some we got Bud Lights too. If you want one of those, tonight. I'll crush any beer. Oh yeah, you drink Bud Light. <sighs> I like Bud Light. Here's the thing: beer's beer. Beer's a beer. At the end of the day, I like Until people you start sucking cock. <laughs> <laughs> What does he mean? Oh, because uh, Bud Light. Because of the um, the thing. But then people on Twitter were saying that um, Ben Evans is actually gay. Allegedly. So it's, e so it's even weirder. Yeah. Oh, is it just allegedly? I don't. Just say allegedly, dude. That's right. How, How do you know? know? Yeah, that's right. They could just be making up. You never know. Yeah. You never know. I saw online that he's a she. Allegedly. See how that works? <laughs> <laughs> Highly redacted. <laughs> Highly redacted. But yeah, so it's kind of weird for him to keep saying uh, homophobic jokes. Yeah, him. around him, it's yeah. even more ridiculous. You know? <laughs> People like to attribute political meanings to shit. Beer is beer at the end of the yeah, day. Yeah, I agree. Like, come on. Real, real motherfuckers, they drink. But not Bud Light, I hear you. BLs? Give me a couple little BLs. A little BL action? I'll drink you put in a glass can. <laughs> you put in a little <laughs> cup before you put Glass the can? We actually saw this live. That's right. I forgot about the glass can. I'll drink it if you put it in a glass can. That just doesn't, that's just not a thing. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. <laughs> how did he even get there? Isn't it weird how that became a thing? Like, I, went to, I went to a Padres game, right? And I'm there Facts. with my brother and Facts. my. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Got saved. Got saved by the fight they're supposed to be watching. But I wanted to hear the story, dude. Me too. Oh, oh no, no, no. He knocked him out, head oh kick. No. Poirier yes! knocked him out with a head kick. Yes. I mean, Gaethje knocked him out. Oh, no. <laughs> Yes! 
Let's go. Oh Rock me my fucking money. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I was. So I missed that shit trying to get pizza. And I know, sauce. bro. I'm yeah. so mad right now. And Holy you don't even shit. like pizza, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Even, I didn't I even see it. <laughs> We were talking so about Bud Lights, man. We are talking about BLs. We are talking about Bud Light and not Dustin being Poirier gay. fucking died. <laughs> I didn't yeah. see a fucking That's going to sting. I need 10 grand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, man, he's hilarious, dude. dude. Yeah. He's so funny. You should do stand up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this one's posted by Good Account. It's called Bill's Narrative Brought Up Again Pulled a Hammy. <laughs> Let's see. Um. Fuck. Okay. I think I've. I don't remember it exactly, but college football, NFL. Yeah. You were on the training team or not training Buffalo team. Bills. Buffalo yeah. Bills. Yeah, training uh, camp. What the fuck happened? <laughs> training camp? Yeah, yeah. I uh, pulled a hamstring, got cut. Fuck. And then I could have then I could have went I had offers from like Miami, J- the Dolphins, the Jets. And but I realized I'm like, I'm just gonna be like a guy. Like I'm not yeah. gonna be the guy. Like I might be a practice squad guy, I gotta move on with my life. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. I respect that. Yeah, yeah. I feel like a lot of people in that situation would have taken the practice squad and For been sure. like, a lot of guys do, and then it. some make it, yeah. most don't, you know? So you're just like this practice squad guy. People are like, oh, but you're in the NFL, you're making millions. Like, no, those practice squad guys make like 70 Gs. Yeah. I, I had a degree, double major, so I was like, I got to move on, dog. What was He has a double major. Did he say he has a double major? That's what he said. Oh, wait, play that one again, I guess, and play the double major At part. the end here? Yeah. Let's we'll see. Just like this practice squad guy, people are like, oh, but you're in that NFL, you're making millions. Like, no, those practice squad guys make like 70 G's. Yeah, I had, I had a degree, double major, so I was like, I gotta move. Whoa, on, dog. that's what an was- interesting narrative, too. That yeah. definitely sounds painted. Well, you want me to look it up? Um, uh, sure, you gotta talk while yeah, it's I mean, I the, what I was thinking about is, um, Shab's got this painted narrative that he's always saying that he was in the NFL, but. Sean uh, cleared it up that he wasn't, and a lot of people have pointed out that he was never part of any kind of squad, practice squad. Yeah. What's our pain? I, w- I want to kind of use Shab, if the show crashes and burns, as the pain and narrative, just say that Shab got me shadow banned. <laughs> like, the reason I'm not at clubs is because Brandon Shab's reach is just like, he's not letting me yeah. be successful, you know? Yeah, it doesn't say anything here about his uh, double major. Well, whatever. He's a pretty smart guy. Yeah. I believe him. Um, fuck. Okay. I no think reason I- not to, you know what I mean? Yeah. Double oh. major in baddies and addies. Oh, sure. there you go. That's what it is. Double major in Japanese whiskey and uh, podcasting. Be black belt. Black belt. He is black belt. <laughs> double major. He's a pretty successful guy. <laughs> All right. So this one's posted by a good account again. Shout out to you, Mr. Chef. It's called quote fucking loser and quote huh. Schwab looking dejected coming to terms with losing the 10K grand to Bradley. Yeah. Let's see here. And yeah, that's that fucking. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> I feel so good. You fucking wow. loser. Yeah, <laughs> That's fair, oh dude. my you gosh. That. What do you do with Gaethje now? You can't do you, you. can't do Makachev. That was a like, Makachev beat the shit out of him. Daryush maybe. Gaethje yes. Daryush. Hey, I feel great. God, dog. <laughs> wow, folded was, him, dude. I felt Fold, it. That is oh, fucking man. tough. Holy shit, dude! If 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 you would have predicted Gaethje by head kick, oh, I'd love to hear the commentary, man. Fuck, man! <laughs> wow, yep. He's Sad looking. day. You got gadouched a bit there. Shouldn't have shouldn't have bet that money. Be yeah. I mean, you know, don't count your chickens before they roost. Hopefully, he paid them. You know what <laughs> I mean, Mister Shaw, but your check. But obviously, PF Chang's the talk around the kitchen is that he's not going to pay him for sure, right? Yeah. It is what it is. Be heard it both ways. This one's also posted by Good Account. It's called After Previously Stating Dentist and Brushing Twice a Day Was for Soy Boys, Brandon admits his teeth are all fugged from the nicotine. Okay, oh, I'm no. just glad I made it through that title. That was so hard. <laughs> they do right. Their pizza is trash. Just, a, just warm cookies and, and ice cream, man. It's so good. Yeah, I love fuck that combo up. myself. I can't so eat anymore because I have bad teeth, but fuck yeah. But you can yeah. eat fucking but fuck burgers yeah. and shit? Uh, if Slam the ketchup hits my burgers. teeth right, it's a nightmare. What happens to your moment. teeth? Anything with sugar in it ruins my teeth. What's from that? What caused that? Uh, nicotine. That'll do it. It's wearing patches? my teeth out. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Posit. So if in Shah's world, you have to pick between your brain and your teeth. Yeah. Because rogue nicotine deals with CT, yeah. but it also hurts your teeth. That's a tough thing to have to choose from. Yeah. It's like that meme of the button. You know, he has to push one of them every day. <laughs> <you know? laughs> That's a good meme, dude. But if you choose your teeth, 
then you're going to be like kind of upset, right? Because nicotine is like uh, addictive. Right. Well, you'd have to get over it. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Do you think he's going to stop? Probably no, not, right? At the beginning not. of this fight campaign, he drops a fucking like six of them in his mouth. You know what I mean? He's going to have to get veneers, B. Yeah. I think that's what this clips is about. Oh, okay. Clips. You okay. know, we watch this on the pod too. Yeah. Or in the live too, because I remember I was like, dude, they're talking about BJ's. There's nothing to <laughs> do with the fight. Pazookis. I have to use like your super sensitive uh, toothpaste and Sensodyne? shit. Sensodyne? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You are that guy. Yeah. No, but I have, to, I have the medical grade though. <laughs> medical Damn, grade. that's sensitive? <laughs> it's so insane. Wow. Yeah. It starts because I started using that charcoal toothpaste because someone told me it's yeah, better for good. me. Yeah. Charcoal's all right. It's not though. It's not fluoride in it. So you, oh, the enamel fine. on your teeth wear out. <laughs> Damn. I got problems. Yeah, bro. you do have problems. I got problems. Yeah. I'm actually <laughs> surprised at how many stimulants and shit you've talked about. <laughs> 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 Bradley Four, Martin, man. dude. Four out of five dentists say this clip is redacted. <laughs> Nine out of ten dentists say, you homeless bee. Uh, you blockbuster. You blockbuster. Oh, yeah. You, it's actually impressive. Thanks, how about like dude. veneers, man? Thanks, dude. <laughs> there we go, Ben. He said, uh, it's impressive how many stimulants you could take. He's like, oh, yeah, it's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> I miss that. That's funny. It's like replace them all. You know what I'm saying? I thought about it. Approach. You ever looked at how much the veneers are, Ben? Oh, there. Well, it depends on where you are, man. You can like, go somewhere and get that's it. That's what I'm saying. You can get some cheap ass. Veneers. I'm not trying to go to Tijuana and get veneers, <laughs> though. <laughs> <laughs> but you can get Because they shave down your teeth and shit. You can get you can get them. To, I can. I'll hook you up. Oh, I don't really? have them, but I know I know places to because I I have thank them, dude. You gotta you either gotta go to the Taco Bell dentist or a Guadalajara dentist. You're yeah. going to Taco Bell dentist, and I guess Cheetos. <laughs> oh. I looked into doing it, and then I was like, I, I feel know. like I get like, roasted though. I show up, I just You're yeah. hundred. You yeah. are yeah. Don't don't do you are a hundred percent getting roasted for that. But Not, like, who cares? But also, yeah. See, Bradley Martin's guy. Bradley, yeah. Yeah, he's cool. He's a cool guy. Might do steroids. Looking at his Instagram, <laughs> you know, oh, yeah, but 100%. he's 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 a cool guy, dude. You're right? You get real sick, <laughs> but also your boy's fine now. Try and get Brendan to do it. It's fine. Who cares, man? You should totally do it. <laughs> I, saw, I just show up and don't say anything. I just got a <laughs> set of fucking got the bad shoppers on me. Yeah. Just oh, fucking everyone's talking shit. Yeah, 100%. like Matt Dillon from uh, fucking <laughs> yeah. some about Mary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? He should get the veneers or no, B? Um, if he has the money to, sure, yeah. Teeth are the one thing where you can fix them, and it's like it can make sense. Yeah. Yeah. Everything else is a little dicey, dicey. Yeah. Everything else will keep you busy for sure. Yeah. All right. So this one, again, good account. He was uh, he was working late that night at the kitchen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> P.F. Chang's, nobody knows who you are. All right. <laughs> Just try to use shopisms. <laughs> this is the last clip for the day. It's called When Even Guests Like Bradley Are Dumbfounded by Brandon's Stupidity. Mm. What do you think he's going to say that's stupid here, dude? Oh, man, I feel like I've seen this before. I can't remember. Dude. I don't even have a guess. All right, let's My see. standard guess is always that he's going to call someone gay, but I don't think yeah. that's what happens. My guess is the country or the state type thing. Right. Let's see. Yuri Alex yeah. Pierre, think about that fight poster. Beautiful. You have Alex Pierre in that fucking like the Brazilian, Brazilian Native the American thing, gear. which confuses me. Yuri's yeah. got the samurai. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Yeah. Let's see. By the long. It's so dumb. Dumb. beautiful. Brazilian Native American thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does like <laughs> <laughs> Bradley. Bradley's listening. It's like feathers, and and it's like, but it's like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that one. I don't, I don't know about that one. <laughs> and when I saw him, I'm like, oh, man, he's really going all in on this Native American thing. And someone's like, no, this is Brazilian, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm like, did they wear feathers in Brazil? Shout out to my Brazilian Native Americans, bro. Funny. God, it's good. Alex is up. Yo. All righty. Well, yeah. What do you think about that? Do you think there's Native Americans in Brazil? Be no, no, not unless he's talking about the state, you know? <laughs> state of America. All right. Well, we're going to be reviewing uh, Nick Cannon's uh, stand up. Don't shoot special this week. Yeah. So check us out on Patreon. See us on Patreon if you want to see that and have a good week. Bye. Bye.